Hey boys and girls, how are you? So um, we have something very exciting to do today. This is Sunday and Mrs. McAdams is going to be taking your chrysalises, chrysalis and putting them into the cage because they need to go in here so that when they're ready to come out into butterflies, our butterflies are inside the cage. So this is the cage the morning class is going to go into. And then I have a separate one for my afternoon friends. There it is there. So we'll be making two different videos. So this is for my morning friends. So also what's interesting about this cage is down at the bottom, there's a little zipper down here. Now, once they start to come out as butterflies, Mrs. McAdams is going to use that little zipper to put the um, sugar water in there and the fruit for them to drink the nectar and drink the juice because we don't want to open up the lid and let them out before that. But in the meantime, when I put them in today, we're going to be putting them in up here. So I'm going to show you how we do that. And then I'm going to show you what a chrysalis looks like up close. I'm not going to be able to show you every single one because it takes a long, long time to do this because there's a process of things I have to do. But I'm going to show you with one of the chrysalis what this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to put this down so that we can do this together. Okay, so there's our cage. Now, this is one of our extra caterpillars that made a chrysalis, right? So here's what we have to do with each and every one. So this is where we take the lid off of your chrysalis. Now, your chrysalises have sat for a few days, which is what the direction said, because they have to harden on the outside. Now, if the caterpillars are still wiggling around inside, now this one's only moving because I'm holding it and it's shaking, but all of your other caterpillars, or all of your other chrysalises are very, very still. So they're all here. Oh, there they are. All here in the box, okay? And they've stopped wiggling and jiggling because even after the chrysalises were made, some of them were in there wiggling and jiggling, which means that um, the chrysalis had not hardened. And so when butterflies are out in the world and a predator comes along and starts messing with it, it can still kind of wiggle and jiggle to say, hey, go away. But now that chrysalis is nice and hard, so the butterflies, the caterpillars are safe inside, and so this is the time that we move them. Now, what we have to do is, you remember this little brush? This is the little brush I used to put the caterpillars in your cup back when they were teeny tiny caterpillars. Now we're gonna use this same brush, and we're gonna take the lid off, and then we have to clean some of the uh, silk thread off from around the caterpillar's uh, chrysalis so that when the butterfly comes out, it doesn't get stuck in that, th that silky thread. So here's where I'm gonna get to show you up close what a chrysalis looks like. Here, I'm taking the lid off. So we're gonna end up throwing this part away. That's all the old food. But you can definitely see in there all the thread and that extra skin, that caterpillar shed some of its skin when it was making that cocoon. We got to see that on some of the video. So all that gets thrown away. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up super close so you can see it, look at that. So there's an actual chrysalis out of the lid, or out of the cup, I should say, attached to the lid. So I'm gonna to try to turn it. I'm trying to be so gentle with this. See all the little bumps and things on it? Look at that. Now here's where you get to see some of the gold. <gasps> look at that back here, and I don't wanna to touch it. right? Can you see that, boys and girls? Look at that, isn't that amazing? Get to see that up close. Let's make sure we get a good focus in there. Wow, I'm gonna keep turning it. Turn, 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 turn. Wow, you can really see the gold specks on there, can't you? Look at that chrysalis, isn't that amazing? Okay, so I'm gonna keep turning so you can see all the sides. There we go. Okay, so what I have to do is underneath here, you see that's hanging on by that really strong silk thread, but there's this extra silky thread and I'm gonna need to use the brush and just brush off some of that extra silky thread that's hanging down so that when the butterfly emerges, it doesn't get its wings caught in that thread, okay? All right, now what we have to do is I have a whole line of, and it's hard to see them. See how there's circles on that? Okay, these are little Velcro dots, okay? So what I'm gonna do for everybody's caterpillar is I'm gonna take one dot, okay, here's one, 
and I'm going to stick it on your lid right on the top, right in the middle, just like that. Okay, I'm going to do this very carefully. All right, so what's going to happen is your lid is going to stick on the side, and I'll show you how, which means your chrysalis will lay inside like this, okay, on the cup. Okay, I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to drop this and harm the caterpillar inside. Okay, so there's how your chrysalis will hang inside. Okay, now what's going to happen is I'm going to get another dot. So everyone's going to, every caterpillar is going to need two dots. Okay, so now this one I'm going to stick to my finger. Isn't that funny? See that? Okay, so now what we're going to do, and I'm going to try to move my camera closer to the net so you can see this part. Okay, so bear with me. Hopefully my camera will stay put. Okay, awesome. All right, so now what Mrs. McAdams is going to do is I'm going to have that sticky dot on one finger. So this is the Velcro side. I'm going to turn this around. This is the Velcro side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in here. Okay, see how it's inside there? And I'm going to push my Velcro dot onto this Velcro and it's going to hold it. Okay, so I'm going to push the two pieces together. Now I have to be careful that I don't touch the chrysalis in the process. So give me a second to get a good grip on this. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, did you hear the click? Whoops. Okay, now I want it to click and then I've got to peel my finger off. Oh, I did it perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'll pick up the camera and show you. So now when you come up close, aha, look at that. It's hanging securely right there inside. And now if I come around this way, let me tilt the camera. There it is, inside the cage, all hanging in that spot waiting to come, come out, okay? So the great part is for each of these cages is that your name will be here, right, on the lid. So we'll be able to go around and see where everybody's caterpillar is. And when they start, sorry about my hand, when they start to come out as butterflies, we'll be able to see whose is coming. So how exciting. Or if we come up in the morning and they're out, we'll be able to tell whose is already out. So we'll be able to keep track. And then once they're all out, we're gonna meet at a place called Walker Park and we're gonna let those butterflies fly. It's gonna be so exciting. So stay tuned. I'm gonna put this on pause. Once I have all the morning ones in the cage, I will come back and show you. And then I will do the same for the afternoon. Friends, I'll show you what it looks like once they're all in the cage, okay? So exciting stuff. So caterpillars are moving out of their cups, those chrysalis, and they're moving into the cage, okay? So stay tuned, boys and girls. All right, bye. Okay, boys and girls, here's the last part of our video. So all of our chrysalis are now safely tucked in to our two uh, nets. So this is our morning class. And if you look closely, as I said, if I get up close from the outside, it's a little hard to read, but you can see this says Giovanni. So this is Giovanni's chrysalis and everybody's is hanging all over the cage. And then if I look inside, you can actually can see them a little bit clearer. So if I get up close, there's Olivia H's. And then if I look over here, oh, there's Ariana's and there's Olivia M's and so on and so forth. So if I very gently turn this now, Talia and Owen's uh, chrysalises have stopped shaking, so they must feel a little better about their new home. So everybody's in here. And we will just have them in here for about, oh, maybe about 10 days before they all decide to come out. Oh, there's Mary's. Okay, so they'll stay tucked inside here, and I will zip up the lid. We really don't have to worry too much about that yet, because they're not going to go anywhere until they're caterpillars. But we'll make sure that lid's closed up tight when we start to notice that these are changing. All right, now over here we have our afternoon class hanging all on here. And again, you have to get up close. It's hard to see the names through it, but this one here, whoops, this is Bo's chrysalis. Now you can't see it as well from the outside, but let me show you. Whoop, from the inside, there we see Eleanor's chrysalis and Reese's chrysalis. 
And then on this side, we see Haley, and we see Lily, and we see Laura. Oops, down there, there's Laura. And then if we go on the other side, we see, let's take a peek. Sorry, I'm a little late there. There's Alex. This inside. Oops, sorry. Let's take this inside the cage. There's Ben's. Now here is the big lid from the one jar. So all of these extra ones. Ooh, look at those. Are in here as well for our afternoon friends. And then over here we have bows. And bow. Oh, I'm sorry, boys and girls. There it is, and then that one's an extra one down there. Now, on this one, we have quite a few straight down on the ground, and this happens a lot, but some of the chrysalises, when you're taking them out of the cups, the chrysalises have either already uh, fallen off and they were laying inside the cup, or they come off when you're taking them out of the cup. But it's no big deal, they can lay here in the bottom, like this. They'll still come out of the chrysalis, if they're able, and the butterflies will still emerge. And the nice thing about these ones on the bottom is we can get a really nice look at them with the camera, can't we? Yep, lovely. And boys and girls, sometimes what happens is not all of them open, right? Sometimes we get caterpillars that while they're trying to transform, something happens and they don't make it. And that's happened. That's just part of the circle of life that thing, living things sometimes go through. So, all right, boys and girls, so there we are. Our transfer is a success. Our caterpillars are tucked in nice and tight. And I will be keeping you updated on how they're doing. And we will update our caterpillar chart and be talking more about these this week. So everybody say hello and goodbye to your chrysalises for now. All right, have a good day, everybody.